boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do I got some information for y'all boys today, man. I'm feeling good, feeling great. You know what I mean? Feeling very uh energetic because of three reasons. Number one, I'm drinking prime. Number two, I spent $250 on gambling via CSGO and I didn't win any money. <laughs> but hey, when you got money, $250 is like 25. So I ain't tripping. I'm not an addict, I swear. And reason number three, I got word on the street. RH2, um, Bax Rail and Bax Nas, I know them pretty well. We go, go a little bit back. They dropped something for us, something brand new. Um, this is going to be my honest reaction to this. I have not seen this yet. And, um, yeah, let's get into it. Wait, wait, oh no. I forgot to say the intro. Be sure to join the SBO Corporation Discord if y'all want more exclusive sneak peeks on Backyard Hoops. Be sure to join the Isolation Discord if you're trying to participate in events and more. And last but not least, man, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, man. We just hit 5.1k. Hey, y'all are all legends, bro. I love y'all so much. And yeah, man, uh, cue that intro and we'll let you to do it. All right, man. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like it's been it's been a while. They said their last like thing, like when they were gonna re-release the game, was gonna be Park something about Park. So I don't know what to expect. I've been hearing though that you know it it doesn't look like a whole lot of shit. So yeah, but let's get it done. All right, man. W intro, Loki. Good evening, everyone. Kurt Hilton coming to you live here on RH2 The Journey. Okay, all right. First pause. Let's go back real quick. The plaza. Um, it's cool. It's cool. I'm not gonna lie. I do like the fact that they are actually taking their own creative route this with this one this time, because the other one just looked like 2K21. It just yeah i do like the creativity on this i will give you points for that Nas, shout out to you but i got word on the street about this plaza um from my boy bond saying that apparently it's going to be four sections big so this isn't just the plaza this is apparently like kind of like a city and just from the looks of it alone it looks like there's more shops down here if y'all can see my mouse so yeah it's gonna be a big map which worries me i feel like there's gonna be lag a lot of lag if they don't do this properly but there's only one way to find out, and that's by them releasing the game. Because we've been waiting too fucking long. And also, this AI-generated commentator. Um, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong, Rel or Nas, if you guys are watching this, which y'all probably are. Is this AI-generated? Because I ain't gonna lie, it sound like it's AI-generated. This shit sound like an Uber Duck website voice actor. But I do fuck with the creativity, though. I, I see what y'all I see what y'all aiming for with that. Live here on RH2 The Journey. <laughs> RH to the journey. <laughs> Evenly matched teams. One with a distinctive home court advantage. Okay. Here. Alright, hold on. If that shot right there is set, bro, zero contest, right? That's dope. But, bro, he don't got takeover. He had none, no badges popped up from what it seemed. That shit looked like it was late as fuck. If that shit goes in when I play the game, bro, I might kill myself. Hey. Woo! W dunk. Green. All right, let's run it back. Now that is one thing I will always fuck with. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and mute this now. That is one thing I will always fuck with with uh, RH2 is the dunking. I think the dunks are sick. That 360 dunk is nice. I ain't gonna lie. Even though he lunges from fucking the mid range from what it looked like. In fact, I'm gonna run it back. I want to be sure I'm not tripping. Okay, he lunges from just right after the free throw, which is fucking ludicrous. Also, as you can see right here, that is a red lock, which means it's heavily contested. So if that shit starts going in, y'all are going to see me on television. Deceased. And then we got this moving shot. Good, good space creation. Nice little fade away. W's W. And then for the last part, it just says coming soon. I don't like this. I'm going to be, look, y'all know me, bro. I keep shit real. I have no reason to cap. First things first, and we're going to go 
via image now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain how I feel about this trailer and what's to come for the game via image. Starting now, let's go ahead and go to the beginning real quick. Uh, right here. All right, the plaza. Y'all heard me say it earlier. I think the plaza will be dope, but I also feel like it's just gonna come with a lot of bugs and a lot of lag. And also, I'm just now noticing this. If you look on my left over here, there is a RH2 season, so that could confirm a season pass. Who knows? Should be dope. Should be grindable. Should have some, you know, some jev. But how do I feel about the new plaza revamp? I think it's unnecessary. It's dope. It's it's it looks amazing. I actually fuck with it a lot, but. I swear to God, it's just like, I've been hearing so much about RH2 and their park system and how they were going to drop park and all this other shit, right? But it just seems to me like they just don't want to tell anybody about shit anymore. And I feel like they're trying to make this plaza to kind of take away. And this is, look, I should just say this. This is just my opinion. I don't need y'all getting mad at me, all right? This is just my opinion. I don't hate RH2. I actually grinded the game when it was out. I'm just spitting my facts, all right? I feel like the plaza the revamp was kind of to take away from what the park system and park gameplay actually looks like. I hope to God I'm wrong because bro, we've been waiting way too long for this shit. I feel like the park should have came out two years ago. Like this shit, the shit should have been done. And the fact that they're kind of just walking away from it, it feels like by, by updating the entire game with a new plaza, which is so unnecessary. It just feels like the park might never come out. So Rel and Nas, I'm gonna just go ahead and give y'all some advice. Me, I'm trying to become a professional developer. I'm not talking about no Roblox gimmick bullshit. I, I own a whole company, a whole brand, bro. I'm trying to take, we're trying to take this shit to the top. You feel me? And one thing I've learned is if you're going to provide a game for people, you got to provide them with information they need or that they seek to hear. So give your fans after, it's been a long time. Like it would have been different if it was like a couple months or so. But bro, it's been years, bro. Give your fan base, give your community what they want. Let them know updates about the park, bro, because I ain't gonna lie, nobody really care about this plaza. It's it's cool as fuck. Huge credit to Nas for the creativity. Like I said, I'm not taking it away from him. He's a great builder, but it's so unnecessary. It's just so unnecessary. There was no need for any of this. But yeah, that's just a suggestion, and that's just one of my opinions on this trailer and what I've seen so far. Um, Nas, Rel, whoever sees this, y'all could either take that advice or don't. It's not my game. I don't make the rules. I'm just here to let y'all know, man. Also, uh, one of the staff, uh, I believe he or she is a staff, I'm not sure, has been going around in certain discords saying like, oh, this is just the beginning. This is just a teaser of what we have to show you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hope so, because now I'm going to tell y'all my rating and my verdict on how I feel about this. If I had to rate the teaser trailer, whatever this was, on a scale 1 to 10, um, it was put together well. I'd probably give it like a 7. If I had to rate the information I have been given, I ain't gonna lie, there ain't much to rate. It's just the same game with a new map. I'm gonna have to give that John like a like a four. I have I have it at a four because one, like I said, new map, I don't really give a shit. And I don't think the community does either. I think yeah, it's dope. Like you're talented, good shit. But we don't give a fuck. We we're trying to play a good game, you feel me? That's where the real that's where the real stuck is here in this situation because i'm looking at this trailer and all that and i'm gonna keep looking at it after this video is over it it just doesn't look like it could be good gameplay it just doesn't but i could be wrong man i pray to god i'm wrong i pray i pray because bro all these other roadball games are dry as fuck and i actually have a lot of hope for Nas and real because you know i've spoken with them a few times throughout the years and i've seen what they could do they're creative they're cool peoples and they drop good content for their game. So I feel like if they play their cards right, then this will be a good ass revamp slash update. Another reason why it's a four is honestly, I can't give it anywhere below that or above that. The reason why I can't give it below that is because I got hope still. And the reason why I can't go above is because I need to play the game in order to actually have a full on opinion on it. But yeah, with that being said, that's, that's, it to be honest that's pretty much it i wanted to let y'all in on the information because y'all are my homeboys man i love y'all to death hey whatever i hear about in terms of robot and y'all don't hear it i gotta let y'all know i'm like the plug man call me badge plug well don't call me that i heard he was a scammer but just call me a w man's man and um yeah that's like i said bro that's it
Be sure to join the SPO Corporation Discord if y'all want more exclusive sneak peeks on Backyard Hoops. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Be sure to join the ISO Nation Discord if y'all want to participate in events. And yeah, man. Dude, I'm out of here, bro. <laughs>